Hello. Welcome. Welcome to Yoga for Anxious Types with me, Marina White Raven. So my theme for today, I I just was thinking about this this morning and the word came very clearly to me, equanimity. And I think it's one of the most important um, aspects of any kind of spiritual practice or any kind of practice in life, actually, being able to find the middle path, being able to, you know, uh, allow for whatever comes our way, difficult or pleasurable, and just um, be able to kind of open to those experiences. And that's definitely what I I hope on, on my yoga journey that I'm getting closer towards. Equanimity. Um, balance, of course, in the practice, yes. Balance and without, you know, the, the hatha, the word itself, hatha yoga, the, 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 the polarities is, is in the word. The sun, the moon, you know, the light, the dark. Um, and when we embrace it all, that's wholeness. So I have a quote to go with this from the wonderful Pima Chodron. To cultivate equanimity, we practice catching ourselves when we feel attraction or aversion before it hardens into grasping or negativity. So again, it's all the mind, right? So let's uh, begin with the bell. These two little bells, everything. Everything is kind of a pit. Uh, appears to be dual, but obviously this is a way of us understanding the whole. So let's come to our feet. So, you know, even though we're, this is yoga for an, an anxious types, we meet energy with energy. So rather than thinking about, you know, coming into a more kind of um, softened and relaxed state, sometimes that's just too much if we're feeling very heightened. So let's just start by standing, lifting the feet, lifting the toes, placing them down, breathing into the nostrils, fly out through the mouth. Lift the shoulders up, breathing in. Shoulder shrugs, you get the extremes, the tightness, the held, and then the <sighs> release. Yeah, this uh, duality is in the breath even, breathing in, hold, hold, into the nostrils, and out through the mouth. <sighs> Let's try it again. This is like squeezing out the tension by increasing it actively, <sighs> and then releasing it, so we find more of that elasticity in ourselves. So we're going to bring the legs together now sides of the feet together. As you breathe in, you're going to lift the arms above the head, bring the hands together. You can even interlink the fingers if you want to get even more extension upwards, so I like to do this. Inhale, lift the heels off the ground, make this little battery powered. Hold the breath in, and then the same thing, and then breathing out slowly this time, you're going to go uh, and out through the nostrils, slowly bring the hands down, palms are coming down to the sides. Let's try that again, breathing in all the way up. Hands together, breathe in, extend, lift the heels off the ground, hold, squeeze everything together, and then breathing out, lower the arms down slowly, the hands are coming down to the sides of the body. Really, let's try one more of those, breathing in all the way up. It's a strong inhale, and it's a hold. Hold, 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 keep stretching up, keep holding everything together, and then breathing out slowly, softly, release, release. So you've got to kind of control on that release so you feel everything there. Take the feet apart, nice bendy knees, let's just come into these twists, bend the knees, let the arms swing around the body, let the arms swing heavily, just enjoy this movement, breathe, loosen everything up, breathe into and out of the nostrils, yeah let's just do this a little bit longer, just loosen everything up, Feel our bodies a little bit. Feel the ground beneath the feet. Breathe in again, then out through the mouth. <sighs> yeah. So let's just uh, really feel the body thump. So we're going to pummel the back, the lower back, the backs of our hands. Yeah, let's release some of the tension that might be there. And also release some energy that might be locked or blocked. And then get the backs of the knuckles and just rubbing the lower back. Yeah, Whew. waking up that chi, waking up prana, getting it moving. Movement is everything. We get the energy moving. And then we release the hands. Let's bring the fingers to the chest. Let's just open the whole chest area up. 
Just tapping with the fingers, stiff fingers or soft bits, whichever you prefer. Breathe, soft knees, feet on the ground, become aware of the whole body. Notice your breath coming in and out, so we're not holding the breath. That's a kind of habit that we get into, middle of the chest, tapping here, coming out to the sides, just on the sides here, high on the ribs. Breathing in and out of the nostrils all the time. And let's just uh, place the finger, the middle finger, just below the eye, little taps there, just below the eye. You can just feel that on the, on the cheekbone. And maybe just giving ourselves a little shampoo, getting the fingers digging into the scalp. Ah, yeah. Another great release. So placing the hands in your skull, place the thumbs, find that edge, the back edge of the skull, start in the center, so there's a little, little, few little bony edges there, and just make little circles with your thumbs, going along that edge. Ah, yeah, and just keep breathing and just enjoy that release. Enjoy that release that we're getting there. A whole lot of tension gathers up there. And maybe also the jaw. There's a whole lot of tension comes into this jaw. Just to give it a little bit of a physical attention. And of course the ears. Just give the ears a little pull all around the edge. Breathing all the time. It's all about the release. Once we release a bit of the top surface of the tension, energy starts moving and then we can go with it. Okay, half breath. Yes, releasing tension still, dynamically. Feet hip width apart, lift the toes, place them down. Knees are nice and bendy, ready? So on the in-breath, you lift the arms up, look up. So it's extending up. Fresh new in-breath, <sighs> Every, empty everything out through the mouth. Let's try that again, breathing in. Fresh new in-breath, stretch up, and <sighs> everything. Try and empty out everything with that ha. You can maybe have ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. Yeah, bring a bit of lightness into this. Breathing in. Through the nostrils, out through the mouth. <laughs> yeah, good. Let the arms swing a little bit. And let's just bring these arms swing side to side. So feet nice and wide. And just let the arms swing side to side. Knees are bending. But keep the feet connected to the ground. So we're just swinging side to side. Arms are heavy. Okay, I'm going to go right around. So just uh, right around, slowly. And then swinging again. Okay, I just need to put some power in. I just realised there's something happening there. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay, we're safe. We're safe again. You can keep going with these arm swings. They feel so good. And then we're going to go the other way. So I think it's this way. Yeah. And then looking up, following that, and swinging the arms. Yeah. Enjoy that release. Just the weight of the arms being so much work there, relaxing the shoulders. Oh, I can't just stop. Little mini cross crawl. So this uh, crossing across the body, lift the left knee, tap it with the right hand, and then the opposite side. Opposite side. We just do this for a little bit, keep it bright and lively. You can make it as lively as you like, really, but try and meet the ground with the ball of the foot rather than you know bringing the heels down. That can tends to kind of take up a lot more energy. So being light on our feet, touching the ground lightly. And then if you go for a walk and keep that in mind, that will really um, maintain your energy. Now extend the leg out, treading lightly, yeah, it's a nice idea, maybe take that into your day, to tread lightly, softly, as if you're kind of, you know, a cat, good, leg out to the side, take the arm, opposite arm over the head, so we get an opening up the side body, breathing in and out through the nostrils, breathing steady and even, steady and even. Breath coming in, breath going out. Yeah. And we'll finish by lifting, opening up the hips. I like to take my hands to my hips. That's up to you though, breathing in and breathing out. Lift the knee as high as you can, open it out to the side. But keep breathing to keep everything moving. Movement is everything. Breathing in and out through the nostrils. Enjoy. Good. Good. So we come to a stillness. We just check the feet, lift the toes, place them down, lift the heels, place them down. Just have a few little bounces here. So the knees are very soft here. We're just doing these little bounces just to shake everything up. See the arms are nice and floppy. And we're breathing all the time. So we're just keeping that softness, but that aliveness. And just re-jigging everything. So let's come.
come to the front of the mat. We're going to come into a warrior two to begin our standing sequence. So put the weight onto the left foot, stand tall, so lift the chest, shoulders back, head is on top of the body, soften the knee, weight onto the left foot, big step back with the right. Yes, landing there. Back toes pointing slightly forward, square the hips, breathe in, lift the arms up, breathing out, bring the arms down to shoulder height, breathing in, expand the chest, fingertip to fingertip, breathing out, as you bend that left knee, already start thinking about pushing into the back foot. So do that at the same time. In fact, we're going to move it in and out of this so we get much more of a feeling of this. Breathing out. And as you breathe in, you're going to come back up. So, but feel that that movement is coming from the, the chest that's lifting. Okay, so inhaling, lifting, breathing out, sinking down centrally, not taking the weight forwards. So all the time thinking about both feet, okay? Inhaling, exhaling, looking down the left arm, checking down every now and again the position of that knee, the angle, that it's going in line with the toes, and that you can see your big toe on the inside of that knee. All the time, just checking that the weight is even between the feet. So breathing in, you're lifting up the chest, breathing out, you're sinking downwards, both feet equal weight there, inhale. Exhale, let's just see if we can just stay here for a breath or two. Feel that back foot, that bowl of the back leg is a strong anchor. Good. Check the back arm isn't collapsing. Use the inhale to come up. Lower the arms on the exhale softly. Bend into the right knee and bring yourself back to the front of the mat. Good. Take a deep breath in and release out through the mouth. Now steady your breath inside, in and out through the nostrils. Put the weight onto the right foot. And let's just send that left foot back in a big step. You can adjust. Get the hips level. Breathe in, lift the arms up. Breathing out, bring the arms down to shoulder height. Breathing in, open the chest wide. Extend the arms away from each other, shoulders down. As you breathe out, you're going to bend into the right knee, left foot pushing back. Inhale, lift the chest. In time with your breath. So as you're for the whole of the out breath, you're sinking down. Check the back arm, not collapsing. It sometimes kind of just thinks, oh, I'm not, she's not looking, I'm just gonna, <laughs> I'm just gonna disappear. So really think about this dynamic between the fingertips, but keep the shoulders down, the neck is long, you're strong in the belly. The belly and the lower back are working together. They're holding there. You can also use and develop the pelvic floor by engaging it. So you have the extra support, the extra support, that dynamic there. Inhaling, exhaling. So we'll do this one more time, breathing in, breathing out, coming into the posture. Don't forget to use the strength in that left, left buttock to strengthen that back leg. The whole that back leg is your anchor. Lift the chest, keep the tummy tucked in. Neck is long. Good. Use the inhale to come up. Exhale, lower the arms down. Bend into the left knee and bring yourself back to the front of the mat. Give everything a little shake up. Again, just take a little moment here. Just have a bounce again, re, re pattern everything. So the knees are soft, and let the heels bounce. It's a soft, easy bounce, nothing too strong. Arms are floppy, breathing in and out through the nostrils. Okay. So another kind of a, a warrior. It's a peaceful warrior, so the same start, but we go into a bit of a stronger pose, I think. Putting the weight on for the left foot, let's step back with the right. So again, big step. Just uh, maybe take it a bit further back if you think you've got a bit more space. You think you can manage a bit wider stance now. Get the hips level to the long edge of the mat. Breathing in, lift the arms up. Breathing out, bring the arms down to shoulder height. So feel that chest lifting, the shoulders going back and the fingertips moving away from each other. As you breathe out, you're going to bend into the left knee. And it's going in the same direction as your toes. It's not collapsing inwards because that's, that's twisting your knee. That's not healthy. So adjust the toes and the knee so that they're in the same alignment. Breathing in. And breathing out, reaching back with that right hand and down. Rest the back hand, the white hand, on that leg, which is super strong. It's grounded already. And magically, this left arm is going up into the air. And you turn the palm so it's facing 
uh, downwards and it's reaching, the fingertips are reaching the back of the mat. Look up at the ceiling on the inside of that arm. Check the front knee has not collapsed. Breathe. That leg is super strong. Really drive it into the ground. Breathe there. Give it breath. Nothing rigid in this posture. Everything is aligned. Use the inhale to come back to warrior. Exhale to sink into it a little deeper. Inhale, come up. Exhale, lower the arms down. Bend into the right knee and bring yourself back to the front of the mat. Lots of strong warriors today. Yes. Breathe. Use that constant battery that we built up. And keep releasing. Put the weight onto the right foot. Step back with the left. Big step. Just get the weight between the feet even. Breathing in, lift the arms up. Breathing out, bring the arms down to shoulder height. Breathing in, up in the chest, the heart's expanding. And as you breathe out, bending into that right knee, it's hovering above the ankle. Left foot pushing back there. Let's get this equilibrium, this evenness, this steadiness. Breathe in here. And on the out breath, reach back with the left hand. As the left hand comes down, the right arm goes up into the air. You turn the palm. The palm is facing the back of the mat, reaching with the fingertips from the back of the mat. Good. Breathe deeply. Front knee remains bent. Don't forget to in, in warrior still. The tendency to want to straighten that front knee. Try and make sure you keep that strong warrior stance. Hips are open. Use the inhale to come back to warrior. Exhale. Sink into it. Inhale. Straighten up. Exhale. Lower the arms down. Bend into the left knee and bring yourself back to the front of the mat. Whoa. You should be feeling warm and lively now. Everything is livening up, opening up, hips, back, everything. So let's just have a little repose. Let's take a wide leg forward bend. We're going to come into, um, yeah, we're going, to, we're going to do a couple of things in this wide leg. So wide, but not, you know, uncomfortable, but a decent, decent wideness with the feet, and the feet are parallel. Let's bring the hands together. They're going to interlink behind the back. And open the chest again. Yeah, this, this area always needs much more attention. So it's breathing in, opening the chest, look up. As you breathe out, have the knees slightly bent, and you're going to come forwards, bending forwards, and let the body just hang there a little bit. Still, the knees are soft, or bent if you need to be. Take a breath in, breath out. Now let the arms come into this. We're going to a bit more openness in the shoulders by letting the arms come over the body behind you and then just give the weight of the arms there just give them opening the chest opening the front of the shoulders relax the head down relax the neck breathe Give the body some time. You can have the knees quite bent here. It's okay to do that. We're really focusing on the upper body. Now bring the hands, still interlinked, to the center of your spine, center of your back, and just draw a big circle. With the hands still together, in the middle of the spine. And then as you rotate the other direction of the circle, you start to just uncurl nice and easy. Nice and easy. And just let go of the hands. Breathe. Bring the feet together softly and easily. Let's just get some movement. Just give us another little interlude. We're going to just work a little bit on the wrists and ankles. So you might want to put your hands on your hips. Lift the right foot off the ground. You can bend into your left knee, standing knee. Don't try not to grip the mat with the with the left toes. And let's just uh, take that. Let's just have a look at this right ankle. So we're just flexing the foot, pointing the toe, and lifting the toe. It's also a bit of balance. So if you need to hold on to some furniture, that's absolutely fine, or a, a wall. And then rotating that ankle around in one direction, and then in the other direction. Now paying attention to these little parts of the body, and then putting the right Foot down, change, and let's just flex the foot. So pointing, don't forget to keep breathing, don't hold your breath. Pointing and drawing the toes up. Ooh, a little bit of wobble. Being interested in this ankle joint, 
and then rotating. So you're drawing a big circle with your big toe, a round circle. So this is just changing our focus of attention in the other direction now. Notice what your focus of attention is like at this moment. Focusing and watching and paying attention. Okay, put that foot down. Let's just rotate both the wrists in one way. And the other direction. Maybe let the arms join in. Let them go high and around. Just a slight change of energy. Good. Okay. Aha. So, we're going to come into Warrior One. We're going to step, step backwards into it for a change. So, Standing with your feet hip width apart in front of the mat. Breathe into the chest. Breathe into the whole front of the body. Soft front. Strong back. Good. We're going to put the weight onto the left foot and take a big step back with the right foot. Big step. It might be that you want to take a couple of steps. And you also might want to just adjust your, uh, your width so that you can balance better. Now with warrior one, you really want to think about the hip position. This is key. So the right hip comes forward, left hip back. So if you drew a line from your belly button, it should be going directly forward. So that's the tricky part. So I'll bring the arms up on the inhale. There's space between the hands, they're above the head, but keep the shoulders down. And as you breathe out, you're going to bend into the left knee. Left knee goes forward. So remember these dynamics. Left knee, right heel, moving away from each other. This isn't just kind of there. It's really active, that back leg. And it makes the whole thing feel balanced and energised and energising. If you want to, you can look up at the ceiling in between those two hands. Fingers are pointing directly up. You can't see them in the picture there. Yes, but keep the shoulders down. Keep the chest elevated. Think about the position of your lower back. So the tailbone's pointing down, strong belly. This whole area is incredibly active. That right buttock is pushing forward to keep that hip in place. You can drop your pelvic floor, your, engage your mula bandha, if you are familiar with that term. Give yourself super stability and strength. Use your inhale to come up. Exhaling, lower the arms down. We're going to come into a forward bend. So, so you know, strong dynamic here. If you have the choice, you can either take your hands if you feel a bit delicate around your lower back. You can support it with your hands there. Or if you feel stronger, come and uh, stretch up, extend the spine, look up at the hands on the inhale, and then coming forwards, keeping the strong belly there to support the back. Bring the hands to the ground. If your knee is bent, that's okay, because you're going to start to lengthen that leg anyway. But make contact with the ground. Even if it's fingertips, whatever you're doing, no stress. So look, first of all, at that big toe. Try to bring the body down towards that leg, left leg. And we're pushing the big toe of the left foot into the ground and away from that big toe. The left hip is, is uh, reaching up away from it, up into the ceiling, up into the sky. Breathe deeply. This is a, such a key place to lengthen your out breath so you have long enough for your body to expand and respond. So we're going to come out of this softly and smoothly. So bend into the left knee and just walk your hands up your leg. Make it nice and easy on yourself. And we're going to step forward with the right foot to the front of the mat. Give the legs a little shake. Loosen the legs up. Weight onto the right, so step backwards left this time. Big step. Adjust your position to be balanced, so you might want to widen your stance. Now take your right hip back, left hip forward. Push into that back foot already. Position of the pelvis here. Point the tailbone down, lift the chest. Breathing in, lift the arms up. Space between the hands, shoulders down. As you breathe out, you're going to bend into the left knee. As the left knee comes forward, the, as the right knee comes forward, sorry, the left heel pushes back. So there's lots going on in these points. The right knee, the right hip, the right knee is going, so we're lengthening this, this thigh as well. Think about that. And also lengthening and opening the front of the left hip strongly, very important. It's all about keeping everything in balance. Keeping, uh, you know, the back and the front of the body, everything is getting expanded and contracted. And we're doing this mindfully and with the breath. Working with the body. Using the inhale to come up, exhaling, lower the arms down. So again, hold on to your back or come into an extended position, breathe in. 
and breathing out, soften that front knee, whatever you're doing, and come down with the fingers to the ground and forward bend. So make contact with the ground, either directly or with some kind of padding or books or blocks or cushions. We're going to try and bring the body towards this leg. And we're going to try and lengthen the leg from the big toe, which is driving into the ground, and the right hip, which is reaching up away and behind. These two points are moving away from each other. Lengthening the leg, using your out breath to release. Breathe in deeply, breathe out long. Now we're going to soften that right knee, walk with the hands up the leg, and step forward with the left foot. Give the legs a little shake here. Yeah, feels good. Okay. So we're going to come into a little squat here. So take the feet apart, and we're going to come down for a bit of restoration. As always, if your heels are off the ground, if you're on your toes like this, Put some padding underneath the heels so they've got something to connect with, however much you need there. Cushions, pillows, blankets, whatever. We can practice, it's always good to have a blanket handy just to use as a squat there. And then let your body fall between your knees. Make sure the knees and the, the toes are in the same kind of direction. And let the body just hang between the legs. Let the head hang forward, you can drop your arms or hands onto the ground. Feel the earth beneath you. Feel the breath in your body. Let the head go. Feel the back of the neck. Lengthen the neck. Feel the weight of the head. Feel the hips releasing. Such a powerful position with squatting. You know, if you, if you, if you find it difficult, just persist with it, with padding and with, with supports, because it's a really, really healthy position to practice. Twist. Little twist in here. Left hand on the ground. Breathing in, lift the right arm up as the right arm comes up. It's a beautiful, graceful movement. So look up and watch that lovely grace that you're developing in your body. And then rotate the right wrist around slowly and purposefully. Watch that lovely hand moving, the arm moving. It's like this, it's like it's it's uh, spiraling, but it's wanting to get higher and higher. And then we spiral down. So we, we rotate in the opposite direction. And as we do that, Kind of winding itself back in, coming down to the earth. Breathing in, lift the left arm up. Reach the fingertips to the ceiling, to the skies. Follow that with your left, with your heart, with your eyes. Good. Expand. Rotating the left wrist now in one direction. It's like it's wanting to reach up. It's wanting to climb up there higher and higher. And now we rotate in the other direction. We're still watching it with our eyes, but it's unwinding, spiraling down, back down to the earth, landing. Come into a ragdoll now, briefly. So we push into the ground, so come into this lovely soft forward bend with the knees bent and the body hanging forward. The shoulders are heavy, the arms are heavy, the head is heavy. And let's take a few restorative, releasing breaths. Breathe in for the nostrils. Out to the mouth. <sighs> yeah, and again, breathe in through the nostrils. Out to the mouth. <sighs> Let's rebuild the spine vertebrae by vertebrae by starting at the base. Keep our attention there. And feel that energy is just lifting up. Keep the knees bent, leave the arms heavy, keep breathing in and out the whole time. Feel that energy is rising up through that spinal column until you're standing and breathe. Just give yourself a moment to feel the whole of your body opening, lively, where does it feel now? Revived. So I hope it's revived because we're going to have a strong posture now to follow. Warrior three, feel free to use furniture, use the walls if you need to. Now take the left foot forward, starting to stand on the left foot. So pulling the weight onto that left foot, really spread the weight out. I'm kind of doing this very slowly and purposefully because it feels good. Just feel the weight going down into that foot. And when it is, you're just uh, staying balanced, 
So keep breathing in and out. Find a point for your eyes on the floor in front of you. And as you lift that right leg off the ground, you start to point the toe. You lean forwards. Now as your body goes forward, so your arms want to go forwards. You can have them just extending forwards, palms together. I favour this uh, connecting the thumbs. This little bird kind of gesture. And you're lifting with the back leg. But this, this, the dynamic, so you're stretching forward with the, um, the hands and you're extending back with the right leg. Try to keep the hips level. That's the difficult part as well. It's all, it's all very challenging, this posture, but it's so useful for developing strength, stability, balance, resilience, that wonderful magical word. Lower down the right leg now, slowly. Thank you for everything, Michelle. It's worth doing because it feels so good afterwards. <laughs> yeah, that's a good enough reason. So let's step onto the right foot now, spread the toes, feel that stability you're giving yourself, connecting to the earth, drawing up some energy from the earth, and start to lift the left leg back. You can if you want push the heel back if you prefer. I think this point in the toe really feels a lovely dynamic and a sense of opening up the front of that left hip as well. Keep the hips level. That's a tricky part. As you lift the leg, the arms go forwards. Find the position for the arms. Extend, extend. Dig deep with your breath. Try not to grip with the toes. Breathe. Breathe deeply in and out through the nostrils. Lower the leg down now. Slowly. And give everything a little shake. Shake the arms, shake the legs. Let's do these little bounces. Knees are soft. Let the heels just bounce on the ground. And breathe. Let's just stand with the feet below the hip joint, feet parallel, lift the toes, place them down, lift the heels, place them down. Okay. Bring the hands to the heart centre. Centre yourself, let your breath settle, soften the knees. We're standing in Tadasana but with the um, Anjali Mudra, so Anjali Tadasana if you like. Tadasana of the mountain, so just slight adjustments. Feel the feet, feel the ground, make sure the weight is even between the feet, make sure the weight is even between uh, the front and the back of both feet. So you might want to take a bit of weight forwards or backwards, depending on your tendency. And then think about the position of the pelvis, pointing the tailbone down, holding, you know, this, keeping this uh, engagement with the abdominals, not gripping, but engaged. You feel the front, front of the thighs engaged. Um, imagine that the, he, uh, the kneecaps are lifting slightly. And once you have this lovely, secure, stable base, you lift the chest up away from that. Lift the chest. As the chest lifts, the shoulders can sink down away from that. So you have this lovely dynamic there. Still, so we, have, we can still do that, but with the hands in Anjali Mudra. So you can have the elbows slightly lifted there. And the head's on top of the body, the chin is slightly tucked in, so the back of the neck can become really long, and the crown of the head is lifting up, open. Feet in the earth, crown in the heavens. Close the eyes briefly. And feel your upright, open, receptive and powerful body. Feel your breath moving softly in and out through the nostrils. If you find yourself distracted, just bring your attention into the soles of your feet. Feel the mat or whatever is beneath your uh, feet. Feel the ground, feel the earth, feel your body. Yeah. Okay. So we're just going to drop the hands down. Breathing in, lift the arms up. Bring the palms together and then they come to the top. Turn the palms and the palms come down. We're just going to do a few of these equalizing this is a lovely equilibrium you can do this every day as you lift the hands up this time lift the heels off the ground extend the fingers to the ceiling really extend bring the hands together turn the palms as you breathe out also through the nostrils bring the hands down so this really symbolizes the uh, polarity the half the the sun the moon the dark the light the feminine the masculine the inhale the exhale 
the air, through the water, the fire, and the earth. On the inhale, the masculine, the more dynamic, the air and the fire. And the exhale is the feminine, the earth, the moon, the receptive, the ground. Practicing that with that in mind. Also being mindful of this, draw, this uh, circle you're drawing with your fingertips. Have you noticed that? It's almost like you're drawing this beautiful container of your energy. Do you feel you, the need for the, uh, for any sense of kind of protecting yourself, then this is also a lovely little practice for that. The palms are going around. Okay, one more of these. Strong inhale, openness, inspiration, slow, soft exhale. Heels come down to the ground, hands come down to the thighs. Bring your hands together for a moment. So let's come into our Little half sun salute action. Again, really connecting with the breath and the energy. We're kind of insepar inseparable, the breath and the energy. We can we can really change things in our whole being by um, actively engaging with our breath. So we stand tall again. And jelly. And as we let the hands together in prayer position, drop the hands down. Breathing in, lift the arms up, look up, stretch up. Breathing out, the knees bend, the, the hands come out to the sides and touch the ground with the fingertips. Knees are bent. Now straighten the legs, so straighten the knee. Hands come just below the knee. Breathe in, take the chest forward, look forward, straight back, arms and legs. And now breathing out, forward bend with the straight legs, looking down at the toes there. Bend the knees a lot, breathing in, lift the eyes, lift the hands, lift the breath. Just pushing up through the legs, breathing out, lower the arms down. Follow the breath. Breathing in all the way up, breathing out, bend the knees, fingertips come to the ground. Breathing in, straighten the legs, arms back, look forwards, open the chest. Breathing out, forward bend, straight legs, bend the knees a lot, breathing in all the way up. Stretch up, breathing out, release. Slow, steady breath. It's like a steady stream of oil, breathing out, bending the knees, fingertips up to the ground. Straighten the legs. At the same time, that lifts your face and your chest, and the hands come. You're pushing off the legs almost, and breathing out, forward bend, touch the ground, bend the knees a lot, breathing in, push up through the legs, breathe in. Strong, energized body, breathe out, soften, released body. Inhale, all the way up. Exhale, bend the knees, fingertips come to the ground. Breathing in, lift up, lengthen, legs, arms back, breathing out, forward bend. Bend the knees a lot, breathing in all the way up. A little bit faster, breathing out, arms coming down. Breathing in all the way up. Breathing out all the way down. Bend the knees, fingertips touch the ground. Breathing in, straighten the legs, arms back, look forwards, open the chest, smile. Breathing out, forward bend, let's stay here. Let's stay here. It's a good place to come into, forward bend. So the eyes are looking at the big toes, they're not looking at the knees. But also the chest is wanting to look at the big toes there. Connect with the ground, either it's whether it's fingertips or the whole hand. And we're starting to try and lengthen both the legs. So the chest is coming down towards the toes, and the other end of that line is the tail or the, or the base of the spine wanting to reach up in the opposite direction. So we've got this extension, one point moving away from the other in space. We create space. Focus your breath on this, these two points in space. And see if you can create some space, some length, some expansion between these points. Now come up onto your fingertips, look forward, so we're just releasing and lengthening the legs again. Put the weight onto the left foot, we're gonna step back with the right foot, the big step for a lunge, so it's right as far back as you can handle there, good. A strong lunge. If it feels too strong, you can always put your right knee on the ground. Let's give it a try for a moment. So you're already using the strength of that leg, openness in the front of the hip there. Resting your body on this front uh, thigh here, the left thigh. 
Keep pushing the right heel back, nice and strong now. Now bring the right knee down, we're not going to stay there too long. And coming up onto a kneeling position, a high knee, breathing in, lift the arms up, bring the palms together above the head. Get them back behind the ears if you can, even to begin with. And as you breathe out, the hips go forwards and the arms go back. So we get this beautiful back bend, this lovely crescent moon, all the time opening the chest. If this doesn't open the chest, I don't know what will. But try and think about opening and lengthening the spine as well as uh, bending. Very important. So these two things moving away from each other. Now bring the hands to the ground. We're going to come into a plank. So we need to tuck that right toe under, lift the knee off the ground, the right knee. And then send the left foot back in a big, so you need to push into the hands to give space there. Now if you want to do something extra strong here, if you're feeling very powerful, you can try to lift each leg one at a time. Otherwise, you know, if you want to rest, you can come down onto the front of your body or feet. But you'll see if you can do a couple of those. It's quite strong that. You also can do the plank here on your forearms. You can do the same thing. You know, this position is a strong on the whole body. So we're all going to come down to the ground now, however you want to do that. Okay, and then rest. So rest on the side of the head, either the side of the head or if you want to make it a pillow with your hands, you can rest your head on the back of your hands if it doesn't feel good to twist your neck. And breathe, and release. As you breathe, really breathe. Expand the front of your body so you can push it against the ground, so you can feel the ground, and you can feel your breathing apparatus, you can feel your belly expanding, and your chest pushing against the ground. It's good to very feel this embodiment of the breath. Good. So we're ready for some back bend. Bring the legs together, bring them forward to the ground. Simple back bend, very nice little simple back bend. Use the inhale to lift the nose, the chin and the chest off the ground. Keep that there, breathing in and out the whole time. Use the in-breath to lift the hands up and extend the fingers back behind you so we're opening the chest again. Now lift the legs off the ground, keep breathing in and out through the nostrils. Every in inhale, see if you can lift a little higher and every exhale, see if you can maintain that. All the time the chest is going forwards, the toes are going backwards, but also upwards. So it's expanding and also coming into a back bend. One more breath in and lower down slowly to the floor. Rest the head on the other side, on the other side of the head there. Again, just feel that expansion in your body as you breathe in. Feel the body's connection with the ground. Connection with your breath. Good. So crown the hands over now. So the palms are on the ground. Just another little back bend. Lift the legs off the ground. So just the lower part of the leg. So you're bending at the knee. Pull onto your forehead for a brief flee. Now use the inhale to lift your head off the ground, lift your chest off the ground. And you can push into the hands slightly. So again, this is another back bend. And you should probably feel this in the very lower back. So all the time thinking about the chest opening and coming forwards as well. And this is a good practice to develop uh, or move on to the bow position afterwards. And the bow position I'll just show you is this position if you're not sure. But for some people that's very difficult to get hold of the feet. So this is a good alternative also. So just slow, slowly lower the legs down and bring the hands up towards the uh, fingers either side of the face there. So you can push into the hands, walk the hands back, sit back into the heels and just rest. Rest your back, bring the forehead to the ground or the backs of the hands, whichever you prefer. And now we can feel the ribs against the legs. So really expand the ribs. Open your wings there as you breathe in and out. Yeah, enjoy your breath, the movement of your body, the power you have over the 
expanding and developing the breath and how it makes you feel. Okay, so we're going to take your hands in front of us so they're not there already. Spread the fingers wide. We're going to come into downward dog. So coming up onto all fours. Inhale, exhale. Inhaling, tuck the toes under. Exhaling, lift the knees off the ground. Coming into downward dog briefly. Let's just walk the dog a little bit. See how these, how these hamstrings, these backs and thighs are doing. Keep the tummy tucked in. You can just bring the right heel down, bend the left knee. Bring the left heel down, bend the right knee. Again, make that quite pronounced so you can get a bit more of the hip movement in here. You're breathing into the chest. Try to keep the hands really open and engaged with the ground. So now we're going to come onto the other side. So we're going to put the weight onto the left hand, left foot. Look at the hands now so you can lift your gaze. And then you're going to take a big step forward or a couple of steps. It's almost no weight on this right hand, but the right foot forward. So it's going to land eventually between your hands. So we're in the lunge again. So again, having the body on this thigh, we've got some support there. And pushing that left heel back. If it's too much, don't forget you can put the knee on the ground. Breathe. Good. So that's opening the groin a little bit there. But mindfully with the breath. Put the left knee down now if you're not there already. And let's come on to a high knee. Don't forget if that's painful for the knee, uh, give it some padding, fold up the mat or put a folded blanket underneath there. Breathing in, lift the arms up. Bring the hands together. And we'll take the hands back as you take the groin forwards as you breathe out. But keep breathing in and out. You can look up at the ceiling if you feel that's interesting for you. It's really opening the front of the throat as well. But you don't need to. The most important thing is these arms are going back and hips are going forward. Now bring the hands to the ground. Okay, so we're going to tuck the toe under now. We're going to, going to just take that left foot forwards. So we're back in this... Um, Forward bend, but we're going to make it into a rag doll by letting the body hang, let the head hang. Bend the way you make them into a rag doll, of course, is by bending the knees. So take a deep breath in through the nostrils and sigh out through the mouth. Good. We're going to come down to the ground, so just catch yourself in the bottom of the ground. Bring the legs out in front of you. Bend the knees, balance the knees up and down. Let's come into a seated twist. So we're going to just bend that right knee, draw it up to the body. And you can either have the foot on the floor here. If you're having it on the floor, this side, on the right side of the leg, it's good to have a space, maybe one of your hands between the foot and the thigh there. You can see that, so you're putting the hand in between rather than having it right up by the leg. Otherwise, you have a choice, you can take the foot onto the other side. If you've had if you have issues with your hips, you've got a hip operation, it's probably not so advisable. But that's another version. If you want to do that, you're used to doing that now. So the other leg, left leg is stretched out in front, the toes towards the ceiling. You can sit on the cushion if you need to here if you feel that this is too uncomfortable. So we're going to take the right hand behind. Notice how I'm not leaning back, making space. I've got, I'm making that forearm touch my back here so I feel like it's got giving me support. So I can lift my chest. Lift the left arm up into the sky, so it's got lots of length, and then we take it around or along that thigh. So I'm just holding on, my uh, inside of my elbow just sits on the, on the um, knee there. Breathe in, and as you breathe out, you're going to twist around to the right. Holding onto that leg, drawing the thigh towards you. Lots of variations on these twists, but whatever you do, the key parts to focus on on the in-breath, lengthen, and sit up as tall as you can. And that uh, point of focus is really the, the sternum, the centre of the heart centre, lifting that up and dropping the shoulders down. The head stays on top of the body. Looking with the eyes right behind you, focusing on your breath. Beautiful twist to the spine. Inhale one more time and untwist to the front. How does that feel? Oh, yes. So powerful twist. So now we're just going to bend the left knee, hug the knees, let the face fall onto the knees. So you just soften the whole back. Just have a little moment to rest. And then we'll, all we do is slide the right leg away. Find that position by putting the hands 
on the ground in between the thigh and the foot. The foot is flat on the ground. Draw that foot as close to your uh, bottom as you can. Martin can lift herself up, place herself down. Good. So this time we're going to take the left hand behind. Again, you, you can have the, the fingers or fingertips, your whole hand on the ground there. Breathing in, lift the right arm up to the ceiling. And as you bring that down, the inside of the elbow is going to sit on the knee and you fold the thigh towards you with the forearm and the hand. Breathe in, lift the chest, lengthen, head is on top of the body, not going forwards. And as you breathe out, you're twisting around to the left. Breathe. Keep lifting the chest on the inhale. On the exhale, you're twisting a little deeper. Good. Breath coming in. Breath going out. Good. Let's inhale, straighten up again, and exhaling, twist back to the front. And your knees, you hug your knees, let your body relax again, soften around the back. So we're just doing a little counter pose to bring the spine back into equilibrium again. That word, equilibrium. Equanimity go very well together. Extend the legs away. Extend the fingers towards the toes. Let's slowly lie down. So all the time you're breathing in and out to the nostrils, slowly, slowly rolling down, breathing in and out to the nostrils. So it's strong and soft, this little process, until we come to the ground and totally let go everything. Just let the arms flop out to the side. The legs fall out to the side. Keep the back of the neck long there. Up the chin in slightly. Breathe into the nostrils. And sigh out through the mouth. Ah. Enjoy, enjoy. Ah. Let's just hug the left knee to the body. Holding that left knee in, give them a little squeeze. Put the left hand on the front of the knee, the right hand lower down on the front of the ankle, maybe. And just give a bit of release. So squeezing this thigh into the body. Inhaling, let it come away a little bit. Let the knee come away. Exhaling, draw the knee into the body. Now we're just going to extend that left leg up to the ceiling, pushing the heel up to the ceiling. Take hold behind the thigh. Keep pushing the heel up to the ceiling there. And we're just letting the leg slowly relax a little bit. If that feels too strong, you can always bend that right knee a bit to empty it. Otherwise, stay with that. Now bend the knee once more. Straighten that right leg out if you've got it bent. Put your right hand on the left knee and take it right over the body, right over to the right. As you do that, take the left arm out to the left and look down your left arm. So we're attempting to drop the left shoulder down to the ground and bring eventually that left knee down to the ground on the right side. Just let the weight of the arm rest on the leg, on the outside of the leg, on the thigh. And the rest of the work is the breath. So I just enjoy the twist. Nice, easy twist, fully embodied breath. Enjoying the inhale as much as the exhale. However that feels. Let go. Now use the inhale and use your hands to bring the head, leg back to center. Give it a squeeze. Place the sole of the foot on the ground and slide the foot away. Draw the right knee in, right hand on the front of the thigh, left hand lower down onto the front of the ankle. Breathe in, let the knee come away. Breathing out, draw the knee into the body. And just follow that breath. Softening on the inhale, making that stronger movement on the exhale. Good. Breathing in. 
breathing out, breath going in and out through the nostrils. Extend the right leg up, open the back of that thigh, take hold behind that right thigh. You can put the left foot on the ground if it feels too strong. You really want to try and get this back of this leg really long, so you're pushing the heel up and drawing the toe towards you of that right leg. So no pushing, no forcing, no straining at all. We're just releasing with the out breath. So always a lot of our focus on the breath and how it connects with the body, how it communicates with the body through the breath. Really simple, bend the knee again. Put the left hand on the right knee, take the right arm out to the side. And we're going to just take that knee right over the body, right over to the left. Rest the, the arm, the left arm on the outside of that leg, just giving it some weight. Letting the leg just roll over there. Just keeping the connection between the right shoulder, it's moving towards the ground. And the left, uh, the right knee is moving towards the ground on the left side. Looking down in the opposite direction to your knee down your right arm. Focus on your breath, maybe even closing your eyes, breathing in deeply, breathing out very slow and long through the nostrils, steady, slow stream of breath. And using the hands and the in-breath to lift your knee back to centre slowly. And place the sole of the foot on the ground, slide the leg away. Now hug both knees and just rock gently side to side in the lower back, just even everything out a little bit. Good. Place the sole of the feet on the ground, close to the buttocks. There's space between the feet, now hips width apart. We're going to just do a little bit of bridge, moving bridge now. Make sure the feet are as close to your bottom as you can make them. As you lift the hips up, really think about keeping those thighs even. Some people even like putting a block or a cushion between the knees to keep that evenness, that even space between the legs to come up. Arms flat down, either side. If you want to move your arms a little bit to bridge, you can. Keep the chin very firmly tucked in this time. The back, so you're almost like exposing the back of the neck to the ground. Breathing in, lift the knees, up, uh, lift the hips off the ground. And on the out breath, we're rolling down the spine, vertebrae by vertebrae, rolling it down. Each of the vertebrae gets its moment to hit the earth. I sometimes like to emphasize this by rocking my, my uh, pelvis a little bit, so lifting the back off the ground. And breathing in, lift. And breathing out, roll down. Roll down. Have a little pelvic tilt there. And push the back into the ground as you then lift the hips off the ground. Peeling up off the ground, inhaling. You can use the arms as well. Exhaling, rolling down. Just do this slowly. You don't need to make this too pronounced. We're just kind of breathing and moving and feeling our spine. So you can close your eyes to just bring that more inward focus. We're starting to focus more inwardly now. We're moving towards the end of the practice, moving towards our relaxation. Inhaling, open, expand, exhaling, rolling down. This is the last one, rolling down. We're going to close by hugging the knees once more, rocking and rolling on the lower back. Nice. Putting the feet on the ground, slide the legs away, let the arms fall away from the body, making sure that you uh, support the position of your neck if you find that it's not in a straight line. By that I mean, if your chin is higher than your than your forehead, you need to level it out by, lift by putting your head on a folded blanket with some more cushion. Otherwise, chin is slightly tucked in, the arms are away from the body, the palms are facing the ceiling, the legs are out to the sides, open hips. If you have another position you'd rather be in, you can please you know, do that. Take a deep breath in through the nostrils. Sigh out through the mouth. In this moment, just before we completely relax, just notice how you feel. Notice the impact of your efforts today. Notice. 
How does the body feel? Where is my mind? How is my breath? Breath is coming in and out through the nostrils. Nice and easy. Breath coming in and breath going out. Just let your breath be very soft and easy. Watching your body respond to that breath. Watching the belly rise and fall. Watching the chest softly expand and contract. And just taking your attention around your body, like on a little journey around your body and noticing any tensions that might be there still. Just noticing that. And actively just letting go, softening the body, allowing the body to melt like chocolate into the ground. Returning the body to this earth, feeling that earth, receptive, warm, soft, dark earth, holding your body safely and securely holding you gently and giving you everything you need, nurturing and nourishing you. Imagine yourself like a little seed held in this warm, soft, dark earth. we come to the end of our relaxation I'm just starting to move and stretch the body breathe a little deeper just noticing how you feel and see if you can carry a little a little piece of this or at least a quality of this into the rest of your day quality hopefully of some equanimity some balance a middle path you know of course there's fluctuations within that but We'll try and keep it a little bit more even and also maybe even a quality of being able to receive things that we maybe don't feel so comfortable about receiving. So stretch and move, breathe a little deeper, expand, stretch, yeah, enjoy your body. Rub the arms, rub the legs, rub the face, feel the connection to your outsides and your insides. And just the merging of that whole being into the palms together. Let's finish with our Sankalpa. Rub the palms vigorously together, create some heat and energy. And when you've made some heat and energy, place that on the heart center, close your eyes and bring your attention to your intention. What do you need today, this week, this time? What do you really need? And say that to yourself in a positively framed sentence. Namaste. Thank you so much for being with me today. Thank you for your continued practice. Thank you for your donations. And watch this space for more offerings, new offerings as we shift and change into a new normal. <laughs> so thank you. Have a great day, whatever time you're watching this. And please share with your friends. 